the next question is uh, uh, from a sister. I want to ask if a wife is obliged to fulfill her duties towards her husband when he doesn't even care, does not pray, and even drinks. Also, if it is sin upon her if she denies to sleep with him when he is drunk. This is a compound question. And usually sisters post such questions when they are in an unstable state of mind due to their anger with their husband, frustration, uh, disappointment. So many sisters come and say, Sheikh, my husband doesn't pray. Should I stay with him or divorce him? And I say, mm, okay, how long have you been with your husband? Oh, 35 years, Sheikh. And he hasn't been praying for 35 years? Yes, Sheikh. So <laughs> why are you coming now? I'm fed up of this life, Sheikh. Ah, so it's not the prayer you're interested in. It's the easy exit from such a relationship. No, this is not the right thing to do. We can't give you fatwa tailored to your question without looking into the background. So the, the real question is, Sheikh, my husband drinks and he doesn't pray, but to tell you the truth, he prays on and off. So he prays Jum'ah. Sometimes he prays Asr and Dhuhr at work. Oh, so he does not totally abandon prayer. He is a, a, a worshiper. Yeah, but it's not uh, really uh, tight. So basically speaking, I started to hate him. And I don't want to fulfill his rights in bed. Would I be sinful and cursed by the angels every single night or not? Ah, then this is a different angle to look at, uh, into. Therefore, such questions cannot be answered directly. I don't know the background of such a marriage. I don't know the background of such a husband. Maybe if we ask the husband, he would say, Sheikh, I pray, but I only miss the Fajr. I go to bed late and I'm wrong. It's my mistake. And I can't walk, wake up until it's seven o'clock and the sun is already in the sky. So it's my mistake. Yes, I, I, I acknowledge. Do I drink? Yeah, I drink sometimes. Do I do drugs? Sometimes. But I fulfill my duties to my wife. I su support her. I provide for her and the children. I'm a good father. Everybody knows me as a good person. But she has a problem. I don't know if she has a relationship with an ex-boyfriend or a cousin she wants to get married to. All of a sudden, she started changing. So, oh, so we have to speak to the husband. We have to speak to the wife. Counseling is not you venting to me, say, oh, my husband does this and that. And I said, oh, the son of a gun. He has to stand in front a firing squad. Because from experience, when I listen to him complaining about you, I say that you should be hanged. So when you both sit together after listening from, to both of you, I find that 50% of what he says is not being repeated in front of you. And 50% of what you have said against him is not repeated in front of him. And then we can find a way to reconcile. So in a nutshell, if a husband drinks or does drugs, but he is still a Muslim, if you do not have intimacy with him, would that improve his religious commitment or he would go to prostitutes to look for fulfilling his desire, which is natural and he has halal sources to uh, uh, practice it with, but it's you who's refusing. You have to look at the pros and the cons and the end result of your actions and that would answer you inshallah.